tools that you use that helps you identify these tops and these bottoms. If we take a look at the uh, the bottom that formed in 2009 on a weekly basis for the S&P 500, it was a rogemitum indicator bottom and a TD9 count bottom, another pattern that I teach. When these patterns are present, you really want to pay attention. That doesn't mean they're always going to work, but uh, when markets make bottoms or tops, it's typically with these patterns that we have. If we go back and take a look at the 2000 high, and this is a blue arrow up here, it turns out that was another rogemitum indicator top. And we take a look at the 2002 low. It was a TD9 count bottom. There's this little nine count, maybe hard to visibly see no, out there, see as, yep. as well as a rogemitum indicator bottom. So this might be the silliest question of the week, but I've only been on three hours of sleep. And so <laughs> <laughs> what patterns should we be looking for on a weekly chart for the Dow or the S&P to suggest a bottom may be in? Yeah, it would be a Rhodes-Mintum indicator bottom in a TD9. Well, it turns out that last week for the S&P 500, it generated a Rhodes-Mintum indicator bottom. Now, the reason why I say it generated that, Tom, and everybody else that's listening is because my patterns get confirmed with either bullish or bearish reversal candles. In the case of a market moving lower, it would be a bullish reversal candle on a weekly basis. Last week was the uh, bull sash candle. That confirmed a nice bottom. Now, the question though is, does that mean that the bottom is in? And as my good friend Lee Corso would say, not so fast. So when we take a look at, and the reason why I say not so fast is this is a monthly chart for the SPY. So I heard you talking about the A to B equals CD patterns out there, yes. intraday, during the day. Here's a monthly chart. If we take a look at the monthly chart, it has a confirmed, this is the SPY now, yep. and it, so everybody can do this on their charting package. This has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. The B point was passed in September uh, with, uh, with volume out there. So we've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. That says that's got a first on the SPY, a first price projection of 313. The second one would be in the 281-ish area out there. So the monthly chart is saying, hey, not so fast. And many of the other index ETFs, so we've got the diamonds over on the left, the SPYs, the Qs, the Russell 2000, the uh, semiconductors by the, semi, the SMHs, and the IYT. Just to take a look at the general overall market, there's many confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside patterns out here on a monthly basis. Now, if the SPY <clears throat> can close above 411.73 <clears throat> by next Monday, which is the September high, then that would be a signal that perhaps this was a bottom and that there would be a change in trend. So we really need the market to answer that question for us. And the reason that I use that, if we take a look at, uh, Tom, I've got this little green arrow out here. So, yeah. And what those green, green lines are showing is just simply the high of the prior month. And a real easy thing for folks to do is in a bull market, what we will see is we will see the highs get taken out and closed above. And so that's why the 411.73, if we take a look at since the high in the SPIs on the monthly basis, the highs have never been taken out all the way down. And when I say taken out, folks, I'm referring to a close above. So we want to watch this 411.73. I don't think it looks like by next Monday, but you never know. Anything is possible out there. And if price closes above it, then that says, OK, maybe we do. But since it's likely that that's not going to occur, I believe it's the A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, that is in play out there for the diamonds, the spies, the Qs, the SMH, and the IYT. They all have confirmed monthly A to B equals CD patterns. Now, if we turn to the short-term time frame, and I heard you talking about A to B equals CD patterns on the daily charts, the diamonds, so we're looking at the diamonds on the daily time frame on the left, the weekly in the center, the monthly on the right. So we can see the monthly A to B equals CD to the downside. The daily on Friday passed its B point with volume. All right. The B point had 4.6 million. This passed it with volume. So this has got a one to one A to B equals CD that would take us to about the 323 level, the one to one point two seven two, the three twenty nine area. And if we take a look at the weekly chart, last week, the spies or the diamonds, that is, the diamonds closed above the prior week's high. So we just talked about that on a monthly basis out there. Yes. So this is suggesting that we should see higher price. One of the other tools that are used to help us identify support and resistance are those TAS market profiles on a weekly basis. That's up at the 328.97. So we've got 323 as an A to B equals CD target. We've got 328 on the weekly basis. That's where price is likely headed to. 
So I think we've got short-term moves higher, but it's likely just simply going to set up a uh, Gartley sell pattern out there. And when I take a look at the Dow Diamonds, today is going to be bar number eight of a TD9 count pattern, Tom. Nice. And so that says that we should see a top in the Dow Diamonds form between today and Wednesday out there. So folks are tuned in to the uh, radio show, uh, the Trader's Ed show from 11 to uh, 12, and I'll keep them updated on this pattern. You gotta love it, man. I mean, you know what's so cool about this, folks, okay? You're talking about a monster consolidation. ABC up, Ooh. then trade the bigger one on the way down. I, I got it. And you know what's yeah. so cool, Steve? We know that you get another counter trend bounce like this. People are gonna say, oh, it's gonna go to the moon again. It's like, okay. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, man, you have a great one, Take safe care, one. Tom. We look for a show tomorrow. Thank you. Get some sleep.